Welcome back to another exciting week of True Treats and Monday Night Football. This week battling, we have the San Diego Chargers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars, which means we have fish tacos and an alligator meatball soup. Enjoy! The first thing we need to do for our soup is build our spice rub for our alligator meat. To do that, we're going to combine salt, paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, black pepper, a little fresh basil, and some thyme into a bowl, mix it up, then we'll add about two thirds of that to our alligator meat to get it nice and seasoned, and save the last third of it for our flour when we create the roux for the soup. The most challenging part of this recipe is certainly going to be locating alligator meat. Luckily, here in the Rogue Valley, we have a place called Cherry Street Meats that just happens to carry alligator as one of its specialties. We did, however, find a few websites online that carry alligator if you can't find any locally near you. Once we let that seasoning sink into our meat, we simply just used our hands to form them into meatballs. Once those were prepared, it's time to start the base of our soup. The first step in the preparation of the base of our soup is to chop up all of our vegetables, which means we're going to take our fresh tomatoes and chop them up, take our white onion and dice it up, and then slice up our celery stalks. After we prepare all of those vegetables, we're going to take the butter and melt it down into our pan. Then we're going to brown all of our alligator meat so the seasoning and a little bit of that meat flavor gets absorbed into the butter. So when we create the roux with our vegetables, we'll have a nice deep flavor all the way through our soup. Remember that we're only looking for browning all of the meat. It doesn't necessarily have to be cooked all the way through because the meatballs will go back into the soup and simmer as it thickens and prepares. Remove your alligator meat from the pan and place it onto a paper towel to remove any of the excess oils and butter. Then take in all of the vegetables we pre-prepared, toss those straight into the butter and cook them down and stew the tomatoes to get a fairly even texture all the way through. Once your tomatoes have stewed down to a nice even texture, it's time to add in that flour and the remainder of our seasoning. And yes, once again, we are making a roux, which by now you should be pretty good at if you've been following along with the recipes. Once your roux and the flour taste is nice and cooked down, add in all of your stock and mix the two together till you get a smooth consistency, then throw in that alligator meat and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then your soup is ready to enjoy. Now that the soup is simmering, it's time to prepare our fish tacos, which means we're going to slice up a little bit of our fresh cod, throw some salt and pepper on there, a little squeeze of lemon, toss it into a pan with some olive oil, and slowly cook it up. Our soup is simmering and our fish is slowly cooking just behind us in a pan, so we're going to make our Cajun sauce for those fish tacos. The first step is to combine a little bit of sour cream with some plain yogurt. Then we're going to add our seasonings, which include salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika for the reddish tone and the smoky flavor, and some cayenne for the heat. Now just slice up a little bit of fresh cabbage, add a light squeezing of lemon and lime juice so you get a good acidity base for your fish tacos. The preparation is done, now it's time to build our fish tacos and enjoy our meal. First step is to put your tortillas down on the plate, then spoon your lightly sautéed cod right on top. Put a little bit of our Cajun sauce right on top of that, throw down our lemon and lime cabbage, and then a nice spoonful of our spicy homemade salsa. Leave a little room on the plate for a big bowl of that alligator meatball soup. And then it's time for some Monday Night Football and one heck of a delicious meal. enjoy the video can't wait to see you next week don't forget you can always like us subscribe to us find us on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus if you have any suggestions let us know otherwise I'll see you next week